What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Sneaker D. And you got just though. This is Kick Chat brought to you by KYG. We back at you guys with another one. Alright, man, listen. Oh, I'm pretty sure as a classroom teacher, you're seeing this as much as I am. Sometimes I feel like I'm teaching in the swamp because I look I look down and all I see is crocs. Why are crocs so popular right now? Um for me, it's the it's the lazy kids rich shoe right mm. um some of my kids i know they get out of bed and they rush to school the quickest thing you can do when you get out of bed is just put on some nobody wants to lace their sneakers nobody wants to like so they put on their crocs oh, you, you, they got their little you teaching a bunch of mila kunas facts ah. <laughs> so oh, that's they, nasty out there yeah but go ahead they got they got like the little uh j bits things that you yeah. could Put in your Crocs. Matter of fact, I mean, and, and these are like the most comfortable thing. Like, there was one time I was playing basketball, I sprained my ankle. You was playing basketball like, Crocs? No, nah, I wasn't playing basketball. Oh. I was playing basketball on some actual basketball sneakers. Rolled roll my ankle, just swelled, it swelled up, and I felt like I couldn't walk in my sneakers. Had the Crocs in the car, automatically. Everything felt bad. Everything felt better. You, Yo, put, them in, you put them in sports yeah. mode. Crocs are Crocs are natural healers. That's they're, what it is. They're natural healers. They're natural healers. Got it. Got it. Got you got it. Got a got bunch it, of healthy it, kids out here. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. So I just want to uh, throw two questions at you when it comes to the Crocs. What impact do you think not being kids not being able to obtain like the hype shoes? made them just complete like yo you know what we're gonna move completely in the opposite direction because when it comes to Crocs I got two theories one either yo sneakers are so hard and expensive to get right now that they took something that's su- that was super insignificant at one point and made it the popular thing I feel like Crocs had a motive right in a sense where it's affordable you can find it anywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. You can find it at Walmart. Um, you can find it in like, your local Marshalls or whatever um, retail stores that you can find it in. And um, it's just easy to obtain. So once, it's, once something's easy to obtain and people think that you look cool in it, you'll get away with it. Cause now there's Crocs in all different colors. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is there was always I all these these colors of Crocs. Like if you ever went to the Midwest, like it was it was big amongst the um, the Mila Kunis out there. But um, <laughs> what I'm saying is I think I have two theories, and and they co- kind of like on total opposite spectrums. One was the sneakers that are constantly being pushed through the media are so hard to obtain. The younger generation, this is like their way of rebelling. Like, yo, you know what? I'm just going the complete opposite way. You feel me? But I don't feel like. Or, okay, go, ahead, you know, go ahead. I don't feel like they rebel in that sense because some of the kids who got Crocs also have fire yeah, kicks. But also, they just choose to wear. The, the, the kids that wouldn't normally have had fire kicks, they all have Crocs. Facts. Like, I've seen kids pull up with like your three, four different types of Crocs, and that's all, like, I'm like, yo, when it snows, your wardrobe's in trouble, but right now, Crocs is all they wear, and also, I'm gonna have to give credit to Kanye, I think the foam runner, in some aspects, not visually, but uh, the closest thing you can link it to, it was so different, the closest thing you can link it to was the Crocs, so I think people like, wait, if that's acceptable, then these shouldn't be far off. And then once again, because they're so obtainable, it's like, I'm not going to pay 400 for the foam runners when I could go to Amazon Prime. $50 and these are here tomorrow. You Fact. feel me? I, I, that, that's my theory on Crocs. But like, yo, I really can't like, yo, the whole world is Florida right now, man. There's Crocs everywhere. Facts. All right. So Natural let's take river. that um, to the next topic. And this is a very crucial conversation who do you think had a bigger impact on the sneaker culture Michael Jordan or Tinker Hatfield and before we get started there's really no wrong answer but just go ahead 
All right, so to complete what Sneaker D was saying, there's really no wrong answer except any answer that he gives. Wow. All right? Okay. Um, so I'm going to say Mike, man. You got to go Air Jordan. Without Air Jordan, nothing makes sense in the world, in the culture. All right, so even with Air Jordan, you don't think Tinker saved Air Jordans? Let's look right now, right? If you're looking at something that's guaranteed to sell out, it's going to be what number joint? Them twos. <laughs> you a dang <laughs> <you're a dang laughs> liar. But, he, All right, but even if you want to say right now the ones that are the most popular, one, that's revisionist history, and two, that's because Tinker allowed the brand to carry on so long that, yeah, now we can go back and appreciate them. And one, the, the pollens are sitting in stores right now. So ones aren't guaranteed sellouts anymore. At, at a certain point, the culture did make ones the most popular thing. But let's be for real, the ones nor the twos is even enough to want to keep Mike there. Mike wanted to leave. You feel me? Tinker came back. Listen, I knew I was going with Tinker. That's why you see all the threes behind me. This right here, it saved the Jordan brand. I won't say it saved Nike. It saved the Jordan brand. And it was because of Tinker. Like, Tinker gave Jordans that flair that made them that street. Like, yo, we need those. You feel me? Like, I think, like, yo, if it wasn't for Tinker, Mike's career would have been Mike's career. But the sneaker game wouldn't have been the same. Because of the three. The three's on. Tinker didn't do the three. He did the three, the four, the five. But you, the three's on. You're saying that the three saved. Yes, it, it reject, yes. Well, most currently, if a three drops, if a three drops, but, oh, and a one drop, if a three drops and a one drops, okay, what's, what's likely right. to sell out? Right now, yes, the one is more likely to sell out. But let's also be honest, dog, without the three, without Tinker making Mike want to stay there, Mike leaves, you feel me? And those ones mean nothing. The ones are still gonna be the, the ones are still the, gonna be stop, the ones. Oh, that's the, like the ones just became relevant, bro. Like that's not true. That's not true. Oh, because in eighty five, in eighty five, the ones in eighty five, the ones were relevant, right? You could go back to 01 and say you could go back to oh one and say, all right, in oh one, it wasn't as relevant as the elevens per se, right? Okay. Or anything that was anything it wasn't was as dropped. relevant as the the eights were more relevant in oh one. Please don't. The fives were more relevant. The threes were more relevant. The fours were more relevant. Yo, the ones really popped off in 2010. Nah. But even, even, bet, even with that logic, even if you say the ones popped off in 2010, we're in 2021, and the ones are way more relevant than a pair yeah, of threes. What we're trying to say is, you're talking about, let's say 2010 on. I'm taking it back to the 80s. You feel and boom, it's it's complex. I respect it. Uh, yes. Cool. They did a list of the top eighty sneakers in the eighties. Do you know what was number one? What was number one? Take a wild guess. Michael Jordan jumping from the free throw line in a period. No, no, no. I said <laughs> Michael sneakers. Jordan jumping. From I, the I said free what sneakers? You're gonna probably say the threes. I'm not. And I'm not saying complex said the threes. And it's Michael okay, Jordan. Okay, so, so stop. What was number two? Uh, what was number two? The air, the air force. Not uh, sorry, the air max ones. What was number three? What was number three? The Air Force ones, which Tinker had nothing to do with. What was number four? Who was number four? The Jordan ones. Okay, so, so in the time when it needed... Bro, you're talking about... Right now, we're talking about penthouse stuff. We're talking about when Nike was ground level, building it. Tinker saved them, dog. What you were talking... You say, you're saying... We can't what get to a 2010 pair of ones if Tinker doesn't come in at 88. Why? That's like... Dog, right. Mike didn't so, even want to be there. What I'm, but he wore the ones. He enjoyed yeah. the ones. He didn't, when he, he came, wore the ones he because came, they gave him a bag. When he came back from playing baseball for like the umpteenth time, what sneaker did he wear? He wore those for nostalgia. He's doing what those did to his feet. What sneaker did he wear, bro? He wore a pair of Jordans. What kind of what pair of sneakers did he wear? He actually came back and wore what the kind pennies. Of, what he, kind of pair of sneakers did he wear? He bro? came back and he wore the pennies. He did it. He wore those when okay, he got. Cool, he cool. wore those when his sneakers. He wore you them asked when, me to answer you. You asked me to answer you. His first game back, what sneaker did he wear, bro? 
for nostalgic reasons, he went back to the ones. What did they do to his feet? He wasn't supposed to be. Stop, playing. stop. What, what did they do to his feet? What did he wear, though? See, now you don't want to answer. Those, I answered your question. Those Can you answer children. mine? His feet got beat up. They were bleeding, dog. He was playing too hard. He had been playing he, baseball for. Cool, cool. He had that, been that, playing that, 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 That's what it was, hard. right? It wasn't that the ones probably just wasn't constructed that well for basketball? Nah, because he was playing them before. Cool, 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 cool. His feet wasn't bleeding before. He was a young man. He was, he was fresh out of college. <laughs> come on. You know there was certain... Come on, bro. At a certain point, dudes in the park used to be playing with tins. That's As true. you get older, you can't do that. That's because tins true. weren't constructed for ball. They weren't the best ball if kick. You, if you I'm can, not saying... Yo, the ones, the ones are a beautiful ball, kick. <laughs> but right now, what we're talking about is... It's not ones versus threes. It's who had That's the bigger saying. impact. I'm saying if Jordan Tink, left, if Jordan left Nike, yes. right? Yes. Before the three was created, the one would be relevant because of the allure of Michael Jordan. So That's better, why, huh? if he left for if he left for Adidas, I, that was the next people to, to yeah. try to sign. If he left for Adidas, the one would be what the Yeezy is to Kanye. It would never had it would never have been remade because it was attached to Jordan. And this is why, bro, the one was, I right, when Kanye dropped the the Nike Yeezys, those were the hottest things, bro. I'm telling you, the the way we looked at the Yeezys is how they looked at the three, not how they looked at the one. What I'm saying is, if the three was never created, the one. But is bro, an no, original what I'm trying sneaker. to tell you is it's different because on conception, on release. The way we looked at the Yeezys is not the way they looked at the ones. They were top five, right? The, yeah. So they had they had that feel, bro. You can't you can't land in the top five and not have that feel. Okay. Why do you think so many people want the eighty five cut? Because it's the hype thing to say now. Cap. It's the hype. <laughs> thing, it's the hype thing to say now, bro. Like, come on, stop it, bro. So you're not gonna no. get anything that oh. come out of eighty five cut. Huh? Because it's hype. You said? And you're not a hype beast. I am a hype beast. <laughs> I but, but, I, listen, like I said, I feel like we're really you're trying to switch the conversation from one to one to three. Mike didn't design the I don't, one. I don't the care about The conversation is is Mike and Tinker. Exactly. Mike wore the ones. And right. He also Tinker wore the had threes. Enough, Tinker had nothing okay. to do with the ones. He had nothing to do okay. with the twos. If Mike left after the two, right? Okay. Mike hated the two model. Didn't want to be a part of. Got Mike. it. If he left, him still being Michael Jordan would be able to carry that one because it's never going to be able to be made anymore. So what I'm saying is Mike is more important to the sneaker culture than Tinker because of the allure of him being got the it, got best it. basketball you, you player. Can, you can never knock the allure of Michael Jordan. You feel me? The allure of Michael Jordan is... As high as it's gonna be, you yeah. feel me? The closest one to him is Bron, but Bron is not as close as people think. Yeah. You feel me? Now, my thing is, with all that allure, you have to deliver a good product. Tinker came to came through and gave Mike the good product, bro. He did, but right now, so what I'm trying to say for is, the past ten years, right? You said past eleven years. You said the ones got popping. And yes. 2010. Yes. For the past 11 years, the yes. ones have been carrying the brand. Okay. So, oh, give you that. But you're talking about 2010. I'm trying to tell you, if Tinker doesn't step in in 88, so let's say from 88 mm -hmm. to, to 2009, it was Tinker's designs that were carrying the brand, bro. Please, come on, make your face like that. It wasn't Tinker's designs? It was Jordan wearing them. But right. was it not Tinker's designs, dog? It was it was Tinker's design. Okay, so but stop. When we seen when we how, seen the fives and Will Smith Will Smith feet, that, was that not like oh my god? That, 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 when when they when they hey. when Spike Lee had the fold and do the right thing and son rolled over with that like yo. So yes, it that, is the those are the Mike Jordans. But can we up. put some respect on the fact that yo, Tinker? So Tinker is, didn't have any misses. Cause he designed, he designed more than he designed more than just the three. Yeah, he had any. He did the four, the five, the six, the seven, the eight, the nine? Did, did he do the ten? I think he did all the way to eleven. No, he did past the eleven. He had some later models that were trash, 
So yeah. you needed you needed Jordan. Don't stop. Don't give me. But he also had later Jordans with Mike that was trash. Don't give me. Stop, stop, stop. He also had later Jordans um later Jordans with Mike that was trash. That is that is fascinating. So 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 if the will, lore is so big, why why when they said why they work? But they will sell because of Michael Jordan. They Not didn't. Not Tinker Hatfield. Bro. They didn't though. Yes, they they will sell. Not at the rate that you're gonna. Not at the rate that you're gonna pay for something that Jordan wore when he was winning championships. Okay, so tell me a Tinker shoe that didn't sell at all. Tinker shoes are gonna sell because of Michael Jordan. Okay, so tell me things that he did that wasn't Jordan that didn't sell. The number two shoe of the '80s is the Air Max One. That was a great shoe. That's a Tinker shoe. That is a Tinker shoe. So what are we talking about, bro? Because we're comparing Tinker and Michael. <laughs> yes. Tinker shoe. But what I'm trying to say shoe. is, Tinker has sex outside of Mike. He does. But Michael is the bigger name and the bigger yes, he's and the, the bigger drawer to okay, the sneaker culture. Okay. What I'm trying culture. to say is, yo, tell me what you tell put me, a, tell me tell me you, the successful Mike shoes right outside, now, outside, right, outside right of Tinker. Right now, right now, in this state of the culture. You put an Air Max One up against a Jordan, and what's going to sell? What's going to sell? Air Max One is, is flying off the store. What's going to sell? They're what's both going to se- sell. What's going to sell? They're D? both going to sell. What will sell first, D? Depends on where you sell them at. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you're in the hood, the Jordan One is going first. You go to England, the Air Max is going first. Probably. All right, then. So I answered your question. We talk in, in the state that you live in. What will sell first, Sneaker D? All right, first of all, you can trap my body, can't lock my mind. So I don't know what state I live in, all right? All right. I'm, I live in the state of Wi Fi. And where your, where your body Now, nah, the Jordan wants to sell first. Exactly. The Jordan wants to saying. sell first. Yeah, but oh, this, what I'm trying to say is yes. If you want to say right now, okay. It but, needs to be sustained. Oh, I'm talking about building the culture. Tinker was super influential and built like yes mike was and honestly if you want to say who had the bigger impact i agree mike has the bigger impact but if mike is let's say his impact level is a hundred mm-hmm. to me tink is at a 95 to 98. and he can have that <laughs> i'm just saying michael jordan is better right, bigger though, for the culture let us know how you guys feel down below to me personally i think tinker what he did for nike and the sneaker culture is super underrated Oh, thinks it's all all mike let us know how you guys feel down below. And until next week, yeah.